Welcome to Flipped Classroom. Today's lesson is on is a review of achievement of desire with a focus on how do people learn. When reviewing the article, you will notice that the two main sources, the two main sources of Rodriguez's education are reading and life experience. If you take a look at your book on page 550, he says, I came to trust the silence of reading and the habit of abstracting from immediate experience. Here he's pointing out the importance of reading as part of teaching and lessons about life, but how it also required life experience to fully understand these lessons he learns. So let's take a look at some evidence of how reading is the source of education for Richard Rodriguez. Let's start on page 542. On 542, he actually asked the question, what was the connection between reading and learning? He also describes reading as a chore, and one of the problems with it was it made him feel isolated. On page 543, you will notice then, when he's discussing his lack of interest in reading with the nuns who are tutoring him, they remind him that reading would open up whole new world. But his concern on page 543 is that books were going to make me educated. And he puts the word educated in quotes as if he's not really sure if being educated is something good or something bad as a child who lacks life experience. On page 544, he says that he started to understand the educational values of books. But he also questions why would people read for entertainment? He says, a book so enjoyable to read couldn't be very important. Once again, with the word in quotation marks, important, meaning he felt that reading was only the source of knowledge. So there would be no entertainment values for reading. On page 545, in the beginning, he said, my habit of reading made me a confident speaker and writer of English. So once again, reading is the source of his education. But he also laments that, merely bookish, I lacked a point of view when I read. Rather, I read in order to acquire a point of view. Meaning, he was taking in the words. They were giving him information, but without life experience, he was just mimicking what other people said. It'd be as if instead of reading this article, Achievement of Desire, you went to Google and asked the experts, what is this book about? He felt the same way. He didn't have confidence in his own opinion. He goes on to say on page 547 that he felt like a dummy mouthing the opinions of others and that education was becoming a form of imitation for him. So once again, emphasizing the point, reading gives him the source of knowledge, but he still needs something in addition to reading to help his learning process. So that's when on page 549, he starts talking about as he gets older and he's in graduate school and college, that he reads books by educational experts. And on 549, he points out that he bonds with these writers, these educational experts, because he wants to know how did he learn? How did he become the educated man he is today? And part of that on page 49, 549, he says, I needed to learn how far I had moved from my past. He wants to know what has happened to his connection to his family and Mexican culture. He's trying to learn if becoming educated has made him distant from his family and forced him to embrace American culture at the expense of losing his Mexican heritage. And one of these educational educational experts that he reads from is Richard Hogarth and he's the gentleman that has the concept of the scholarship boy because Richard Rodriguez connects with the concept that he too is a scholarship boy. So what are some of these lessons he's learned from reading? He's learned, let's take a look on page 537. He says, school has irretrievably changed my family's life. He's also learned that education requires radical self-reformation. And once again, going back to the concern that reading only books, he would be mouthing the opinions of others. He needs something more than books. He needs to reflect on life experience plus books to have an opinion. 
And though it doesn't directly say this in the article, we know this because the entire article is his opinion. So it's a manifestation of his ability to read and use life experience to learn these lessons. All this culminates on page 550 in the first paragraph, and it will help you further understand the importance of these life lessons plus reading being the source of his education. Another step of understanding this is in using your critical thinking. Why is it important to know how Richard Rodriguez learns and what he's learned? First of all, his experience is not very unique. But most of us have gone through our lives reading books and questioning what is the value of reading. He also has insecurities that many of us have gone through. In addition, his concerns about family connections. What happens as you get more intelligent? Does that automatically distant you from your family? Is there a loss when you become more educated? As you gain more knowledge, do you lose your family? Do you lose your culture? Do you lose your background? These experiences he struggles through are universal to many. They are the common experience. So to understand what he experiences helps us learn more about ourselves and others. And that is where we get to a universal truth or some global insight. In the conclusion paragraph of your essay, you are going to expound on the universal truth or global insight that is gained from reading about Richard Rodriguez's experience. Concepts such as how gaining something, whether it's education or something else in your life, does require sacrifice. For Rodriguez, he had to sacrifice his family and his culture. Another universal truth and insight is how self-reflection is important. And books and reading are important. But you really need both of those to fully gain and learn lessons. Another universal truth is about change being scary. But it's insightful to know that through, though these changes are scary, they are often necessary for us to progress in life. So what you read about for Richard Rodriguez's experience is something that can relate to you and to others. It is a universal experience that we can all learn from. That is one reason it is important to read and analyze his writing. So in review, when you're trying to answer the question, how does Rodriguez learn? What sources does he have? In particular, his family, life experience, and reading. And what paths does he take? He merges those together. He doesn't isolate reading and life experience. He puts those together. And knowing why is it important for us as readers to acknowledge these sources and paths and understand the lessons he's learned. What universal truths or global insight can we gain as readers from looking at Achievement of Desire by Richard Rodriguez? Thank you for joining me today in Flipped Classroom.